What are the metabolic abnormalities that a ketogenic diet targets and and improves uh, improve? And what are what is the the role of mitochondria in this process? So again, this is something that this is not at all speculation. We have decades of neuroscience research on what on earth is the ketogenic diet doing to the brain. We have numerous animal studies. We've also got human studies, neuroimaging studies, a wide range of studies. And the reality is we actually know more about the effects of the ketogenic diet on the brain than we do any other dietary intervention. And to most people, that's shocking. But the, but the reason that is the case is because again, this is a 100 year old evidence-based treatment for epilepsy. Biotech companies are studying this diet, trying to identify new targets. They don't care about a diet. They just want new targets for new pills. And they're using the ketogenic diet because the ketogenic diet is stopping seizures even when Depakote and Tegretol and Lamictal and Gabapentin do not. So they're trying to figure out what on earth is this diet doing? So a laundry list, a short, short laundry list of some of the things that we know this diet is doing. It changes neurotransmitter systems, in particular GABA, glutamate, and adenosine. It reduces brain inflammation. It changes calcium um, signaling and calcium channel regulation, which is really important in cell function. Um, It... uh, it improves insulin signaling um, and insulin resistance. That plays a role, really important role in weight loss and diabetes. But for those of you who don't know, over the last 20 years, there's been an explosion of research on the role of insulin in brain function. And it it's very complicated. It's not at all. A, there's, there are several lines of evidence that suggest the insulin in the brain is not coming from the pancreas the insulin in the brain is probably being produced in the brain. Um, And it is probably more like a neurotransmitter, if you will, than it is what insulin does in the periphery. So insulin and brain function are critically important and the ketogenic diet impacts that. Ketogenic diet actually significantly changes the gut microbiome. There's several lines of research. Some researchers believe that is its primary mechanism of action, that it changes the gut microbiome in beneficial ways, and that those microbiome changes then go up to the brain, the gut-brain connection, and actually result in an anti-seizure effect. There's one animal model where they actually transferred the gut microbiome from mice on a ketogenic diet to sterilized mice who were not on a ketogenic diet and by transferring the gut microbiome, the, the, the recipient mice actually got an anticonvulsant effect from the gut microbiome. Um, so lots of things, but central to my theory about mitochondria and the importance of mitochondria, the ketogenic diet does two primary things. It stimulates a process called mitophagy, which is getting rid of old and defective mitochondria and replacing them with new ones. And it stimulates a process called mitochondrial biogenesis, which means that your cells will actually have more mitochondria after a period of time of doing the ketogenic diet. So in that way, the ketogenic diet is not just a short-term intervention it can result in long-term benefits by increasing the number and health of mitochondria in your cells. And once cells have adequate, healthy mitochondria, they can actually begin to function normally. And if they are in a kind of deficient state, meaning they have high levels of waste products or high levels of Um, defective, unfolded proteins or other things that they actually begin to repair themselves because now they have enough energy and bandwidth, if you will, with adequate mitochondria 
to actually begin repairing themselves. And although that may sound um, maybe implausible or like I'm making something up, like how would that work? Brain repair, brain healing, it sounds good, but are you just a charlatan selling something? The reality is that the, the evidence base that we have in the neurology field, the current practice for people with, this is, these are people with treatment resistant epilepsy. They've always tried at least three or more medications. The standard protocol is to treat them for two to five years with the ketogenic diet. It is not a lifetime intervention. It's a two to five year intervention. And then the patient is actually actively encouraged to go off of the ketogenic diet and well more than 50% of people, so it's not 100%, but more than 50% of people will be able to maintain all of the benefits that they got from the ketogenic diet now off the ketogenic diet, which strongly, again, suggests the brain is healing and repairing itself. And, and then after two to five years is now able to function normally on a quote unquote normal diet. Hey, would you like to know how to use food as medicine for your genes? Get access to my free webinar using the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed the webinar. And if you do, please make sure to comment and share.